Yeah, because we all needed a sequel to Jumanji, right? Hey everyone, welcome to the review, and here's my review for the movie Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. Yes, Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, this movie stars Dwayne Johnson, Kevin Hart, Karen Gillan, Jack Black, and Nick Jonas. And this movie is directed by Jake Kasdan, yes, the guy who gave us Bad Teacher and Sex Tape. Nice. Yeah, nice. Uh, this movie is a sequel, even though it's not technically a sequel, but it's not a remake or reboot. It's, it's, it's called a sequel, even though it really doesn't have any tie-ins to the original, but a sequel, and yeah, this is a sequel to Jumanji, the great 90s film with Robin Williams. I love that movie. It's a great movie. Why they made a sequel, I have no goddamn idea why, but this one, it's like a video game. It's about these four high school students, and they're all a bunch of high school kids. They all have different cliques and stuff. You got, like, the nerdy kid, the popular kid, you know, the smart girl, the popular girl and stuff. And they find this game, and it's called Jumanji. And basically, they get sucked up into the world of the video game of Jumanji. And, uh... The four kids become four avatars of their characters they chose in the game. So the main nerdy kid is Dwayne Johnson, a big buff dude. The popular guy is Kevin Hart, a small guy. And uh, the popular girl, the popular beautiful girl is Jack Black, which is a middle-aged fat guy. And the nerdy girl is like this very good attractive girl, which is Carrie Gillen's character. So yeah, basically they all have to work together in this game. They each have like three lives in the video game. They have to survive the jungle of Jumanji and get back and beat the game so they can get back home and stuff. They, are, they have help with all these side characters. They have Nick Jonas. They have to fight this mustache twirling villain. Ah, 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 ah. And yeah, that's Jumanji 2. Welcome to the jungle. This movie is perfectly passable. That's, that's like the gist I can say about this movie. It is passable. It is not a great movie. It is not a... I, I can't even go as far to say it's a good movie. It's an entertaining movie. It's a movie that I was ready to shit on. I was ready to just bash this movie to death because for the trailers, this movie looked absolutely stupid. It looked ridiculous. I just... I'm like, why are they making a sequel to Jumanji? Even still after seeing this movie, it feels rather pointless, but... There are good things in it, there is some charm to it, there's like ability to it, there's entertainment value in the film, so let's get to the positives. The positives, the first big one is Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne Johnson, again, yes, he did Baywatch this year, he's gotta live with that, but he's very good in this movie. I thought he was very enjoyable because he's the nerdy kid, he's in this like big buff body and stuff, and he is very charming in this movie, he's very entertaining, and he is pretty funny, and I think he stole the film. Dwayne Johnson was probably the best thing about this movie, and yeah, it was really great watching him. And surprisingly enough, Nick, Nick Jonas was not bad, which was weird. There's also some decent visuals, and there's some decent action scenes, and there are some jokes in this movie that did make me laugh and got some chuckles out of me. A lot of those were Dwayne Johnson and Jack Black. Jack Black is also in this film, and some of the jokes Jack Black does in this movie aren't funny, but he is relatively enjoyable and funny because he's, like, supposed to be this teenage popular girl, so... It was pretty enjoyable watching Jack Black and Dwayne Johnson, and even Nick Jonas in the film. And there's some decent adventure storytelling, there's some fun moments, there's some funny moments as well, and... Yeah, it's cool because they're in a video game, it's cool, like, if you love video games and stuff, it's cool to see these people inside this video game, you know, they have three lives and stuff, they have three chances to die and everything, going through each level and each stage of the game, which is pretty cool and entertaining. The movie could have used the idea bigger and better and stuff and made it more enjoyable, but for what we got, it's perfectly passable. My gripes with the film is, well, the other two leads. Like, I didn't like Kevin Hart in this film. Kevin Hart's a hit and miss when it comes to Kevin Hart for me. Um, sometimes he's really funny and really enjoyable. Sometimes he's not. In this one, it's the typical Kevin Hart shtick. He's not very funny. He's not very enjoyable in this film. And all his jokes completely fell flat. And Karen Gillan was not that great either. She was... Just this, you know, this nerdy girl, this feminist girl, and this, like, good-looking girl's body and stuff, and she wasn't interesting, she wasn't compelling, she wasn't funny, she wasn't entertaining to watch, so... 
didn't care for her. There's also a villain in the movie, which is not done really well. There's also some really obvious CGI. I'm just like, oh, God. There's also some things that, again, it all requires spoilers. There's just things within the story that make no sense, and they're just big, major plot holes. Like, really big plot holes that make absolutely no sense. I'm like, wait, what? What? So, yeah. I don't think this movie is amazing, but I think a lot of kids will get a kick out of it. I think the there will be some Jumanji fans that will like this movie. I think this movie, I, I saw it on Rotten Tomatoes. It's like in the 80s on Rotten Tomatoes, so apparently a lot of people are having fun with this film, which is cool. It is a entertaining film and a passable film. I don't think it's amazing. I wouldn't give it that high of a mark on Rotten Tomatoes, but... I, I do understand why people would have fun with it. I think it, people can have fun and enjoyment out of the film. I don't think it's anything that great. I don't think it's anywhere near as good as the first Jumanji film, but for what it is, it's passable. I thought it was fine. I was ready to hate it, but I saw it, and I had some fun with it. So I can give it a positive review. Not too, too positive, but I can go really positive with it. So yeah, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle a 6.8 out of 10. That's a pretty high grade for my standards because I thought I was going to shit on this film, but it was entertaining. There were some good leads, there's some good fun elements to the story, so I would recommend it, but recommend with caution. Don't expect anything groundbreaking or as good as the first one, but I think you might have a fun time with it. So yeah, that was my review for the movie Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. Say in the comments section, the comment section below, please tell me, are you interested to see this movie? And if you have, give me your thoughts and opinions. Did you like this one? Did you think this was better than the original Jumanji film? Give me your thoughts and opinions. Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please like, subscribe to this channel, and join the dark side.